Trisha Dubiesco, and we were working on the spreading impairment in mouse embryonic fibroblasts, also known as UNIAC, cell black and the ABI gene. So why are we doing this project? Well, our goal is to obtain initial, initial phenotypic characteristics of recently established ABI1 knockout mouse embryonic fibroblast cell line. So um, in my intro's lab, they were doing, they were looking at the mouse models, and they found that in the in the prostates there were there's a significant protein called ABI1 that was very significant to the cell spreading of the, of the tumor's um, suppressing gene. And as well, ABI is thought to act as a tumor suppressor and also as an actin polymerization regulating protein. We believe that spreading phenotype, which we attempt to characterize in this project, is in close relation to the neoplastic characteristics of ABI, ABI knockout cells, which is a main interest of the cell signal. So the purpose is we want to know if the ABI knockout, if the ABI protein is essential to cell spread. So actin polymerization dependent processes. As seen here, we know that actin is a protein which when it polymerizes is a there's a number of proteins that come together, and it, from monomer to poly, um, polymer, it's called polymerization. From poly, polymer to monomer, it's called depolymerization. And all of these act in ubiquitous as well, and therefore it forms um, filaments. And there are many cellular processes such as cell migration, cell to cell contact, cell division and cell spreading. And our main focus is on cell spreading because that's what we need that ABI, the ABI protein is essential to. And as well, these processes are very critical to the cells. Okay. So the way to start complex regulates actin polymerization. ABI1 is a key component to the way to complex. Proteins are used in the complexes, and the way to complex is the main complex regulating actin <coughs> polymerization. So, since we know that ABI is bonded to the way to complex, we know that it's very significant and is a um, prime component of the, of the actin polymerization. It also binds to, to the way to right here, but it's a little EV, so that's how we know that it's very significant. Now, how do we know that um, the ABI, ABI1 protein is significant? Okay, so my mentor, she did a scan, and she knocked out the, she knocked out the ABI1 protein. So she wanted to see whether or not how significant um, the protein was to the cell spreading. So she knocked out the ABI1, um, yes, several proteins here, SRA1, NAP1, wave 2 ABI2, and ABI1. So after she did the screening, she um, realized that the ABI, excuse me, ABI protein had was was definitely responsible in the way for cell spreading of the cells. <coughs> so how is cell spreading affected by absence of ABI? So our our hypothesis is that ABI, we know that is one of the key components of the way to complex regulating actin polymerization. If we remove the ABI protein from the complex, actin polymerization processes should be affected. Cell spreading is heavily dependent on the proper actin polymerization. Or effective way to complex causes effects in actin polymerization. We also expect abnormal spreading in ABI or knockout cells. So we know, so way too complex regulates actin polymerization. And active and active polymerization regulates the cell processes, and the main cell process that we are focused on is the cell spreading, which we believe that it, ABI is responsible for. So our methodology used to evaluate spreading phenotypes. So we took the mouse and bionic fibroblasts, which were adherent cells grown on the plastic dishes. 
After that, the cells will be attached by using trypsin. After that, we, the cells were inspection and counted by using the neurobio chamber. And I did that by looking through the, um, the microscope and counting it using the counter. So after that, um, we placed equal amounts of the cell and plated them on the plastic dishes. Spreading from rounded cell to fully adherent cell was monitored in a time-dependent manner. So we, um, we took pictures after zero minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. Um, and lastly, pictures of the control versus knockout cells were taken in these specific time points and spreading abilities of control versus knockout cells are compared. Okay, so after I had counted the cells, well, my job was to do all that and count all the cells that were in each um, in each time span. So I counted these cells, and as you see here, some cells, some cells like right here, they are releasing um, filipedia, which which um, are like webs, um, suddenly into like the the base of the petri um, of the plastic dish to know that act on um, that the ABI was working in the in the in the dish. And so we counted it um, 30 minutes, and this was the knockout. This was the control, this was the knockout. So we see here that the significant, um, the, dif the difference, the different percentages, percentages was not that, um, um, it was not, it wasn't a big, um, it wasn't a big difference. So we had to do uh, another time frame to see whether or not we could get better results. So here we did, um, we, we timed them in one hour, in a one hour frame. And we see that the, in, the, in the control where the ABI is in, 80% of the cells have spread, which means that um, the ABI has, the cells have, the ABI protein is definitely um, essential to the cells spreading. In the knockout cells, we see that it decreased 62% of, of, of the cells only, only spread. So ABI definitely has um, is essential to spreading ourselves. So our inclusion was that initial evaluation of the spreading phenotype of ABI1 knockout cells versus the control cells suggests impairment in the spreading abilities of ABI1 knockout cells. We did observe the less spreading cells in the ABI knockout cells, but the product, since you know the data was not completely compatible, we decided that our project would continue and we do more experiments to get better results. So I acknowledge um, Mr. Leslie Katula, my mentor, Dr. Patricia Dubiesca, New York Blood Center, Ms. Ufondo, Mr. Brimble, my teachers from my school who recruited me for this program, Hong Chun Society, Dr. Savage, yes, Sav, and you guys. Thank you.
Ah. Se lo voy a...